I've read on Wikipedia, and yeah, I take Wikipedia with a pinch of salt at the best of the times, that you have a bit of a, a thing for trying to eat body parts. I think there was a guy called Heinz, and you ate his, ate his nose or something? Is that true or is that rubbish? No, it, it, it is true, but, you and know, I, 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 you I, no, being a sort of trainee gangster, uh -huh. um, and it's an awful thing to say because now I'm a, a, mature, a mature man, if you like, but, but in those days, um, in those days there was a lot of, um, uh, I've just, you know, my last film was um, um, Telstar, mm -hmm. in which I played Larry Parnes, the, the, the man that used to manage all the rock stars. Uh, and Nigel Harmon played me as a young... They wanted somebody to play me, you know, and we, I couldn't find anybody to play me. And my wife said, I've seen somebody in EastEnders that looks like you. I said, darling, nobody looks like Jess. She said, I know, she said, he's not as tall. You know. She said, but he's very much like you, darling. So he was offered the part to play me. And as a young actor, obviously, he didn't know who I was. And he came to my house to talk to me. And as he walked in, he did look like me. I mean, you know, he's now playing um, in, um, he's now playing Simon Cowell. Uh -huh. Simon Cowell said, oh, we had to get a good looking guy to play me because I'm the best looking man in the world. But he's course, already obviously. played me, yeah. who's, uh, uh, you know, I'm smidg smidgenly older uh -huh. without Botox. So, and I don't suppose he's done his homework to realise that N uh, Nigel Harmon's already played me. Anyway, Nigel Harmon came in. My wife's never said this before. And she said to Nigel, she said, are you are you sure your mother didn't have an affair with my husband everybody else has <laughs> but he did look like me so anyway and and the weird thing was me talking to him as larry pounds and he's me and coming back in the studio car I thought this is another iconic thing mm. i've been played in a movie by mm. somebody else so and the whole thing was about telstar was joe meek who was then he had the first hit record in america called telstar and he was a man that used to, to make records in his uh, uh, flat in Holloway Road. And uh, he was really off the wall, a very interesting character. What year was this? Uh, he, play, he made records from the, the middle 50s up to the 60s. We were all in studios with 25-piece orchestras, you know. Uh, and he did it in, in a kitchen thing. And he, he recorded me a couple of times. And Heinz thought that... I was going to be his next boy uh -huh. and Heinz was his boyfriend. So Heinz was jealous? Basically. Was, was, was um, his boyfriend, um, Joe Meek. And um, apparently they stepped together. I, I mean, I don't know. We, I, we never thought about things like that in those days. We were just the lads, you know. Um, and this all boils down to the fact that, that he was jealous of me because Joe Meek had, had recorded me and was going to m make me a, a star, blah, 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 usual stuff, you know. So we're doing this tour and uh, I jumped up on my amp on the second number. And um, we used to do little things like that, jump up on the amp, you know, we go foot this way or do something and do it, all little things, arms round, handcuff ourselves to the microphones, uh, put, put our leg out one side of the stage and then come on the other get somebody with my shoes on to uh -huh. look, they think it's me, they yeah. all look and scream, but you come on from there, all these little gimmicks. Getting out getting out the theatre was amazingly difficult. My, I used to have Moscan shoes, white Moscan shoes, and my roadie um, actually drove, um, I, I had Hillman Minks uh, mauve and white wheels, mauve, mauve, hold up in a beautiful big car. He drove it up the steps of, of the Edmonton, uh, cinema uh -huh. stopped out the front all timed I would kick do you really rock and roll Billy boy Billy boy do you really rock and roll charming Billy and that was my last number and halfway through I kicked the shoe and it went into the audience and all the kids grabbed my shoe and as they grabbed my shoe I ran up the aisle into the car and down the set <laughs> I mean, this was like getaway. And every now and to think of a different getaway to get out of the thing. Right. So those were the kind of days, mad days. So the funny bass player says to, <laughs> says to Hines, he said, Jess is nicking your act. He, he jumped up on the amp in his second number. Because Hines did that as well, apparently. Oh, OK. Did, well, were you copying? Were, were, were you, yeah, yeah. No, you were. well, I know, probably. I probably. don't know. Yeah. 
probably said, he can do it, I can do it. Yeah. He thinks that's clever, you wait, you see, Jess does it. And in those days, if, if you weren't from the London, you're nobody, you know, if you came from Liverpool, Liverpool, because there weren't chain stores then. So if you are wearing a suit that's in fashion, mm -hmm. anywhere above um, Watford Gap, get it years later. So Scotland was about eight years behind. Uh, and this uh, Heinz, he came from somewhere, certainly not London. So in my eyes, he was like, who, who is he? You know, he doesn't so even how, come how from How did London. you end up eating his nose? That's so I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, <laughs> it takes a long time to get there because you have to get the whole thing. Oh, the it. whole in context. So he comes in and he said, uh, Biffo, I suppose that was the bass player. We all had names. He said, Biffo told me you're nicking my act. I said, don't be a prat. I said, we're all nicking Elvis's act. And he went, mah, 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 and I could just see the face going, mah, 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 mah. and I'm only, you know, I'm only new, a new star, mm. a newly star. I'm only a kid and I can have a fight. Don't let this fool you. I can have a fight. I, I box for South London and, uh, you know, I can have a fight. And so anyway, I nutted him and he went up against the wall and then I beat his nose off and oh. spits on the floor. <laughs> Jesus. And then, and then as I'm doing this, uh -huh. I, I can hear all this going, we want Jess, we want Jess. And, and I did, I kicked him in time with the, we want Jess. We, awful, <laughs> awful, awful. Well, at least awful. you're kicking in awful, was in B. Awful, awful. But then Heinz and I became great friends uh -huh. afterwards and I was, I was very sorry about it. But we were kids, we were teenagers and we were teddy boys, you yeah. know, it, it made good. Uh, how much and we did, did we did have was fights back then. Was it a, a nostril? How much? Was it a tiny? Well, I, I remember I had, I had bits of it in my teeth. Oh, don't. How much of it? Quite a bit of it. Really? Mm. Is he scarred? What was he no, scarred? No, well, yeah, was but he, he, he says, he just gave me these, he's quite proud of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. And then.